have you ever noticed that if you're stressed out almost or you're just not thinking straight you're panicked you're rushed or you're just kind of spinning your wheels one of the first things that people say to you is relax take a deep breath or maybe something disappointing's happened or maybe you're just you know acting acting out in some way hi my name is Kira of the Eagle Institute intuitively we know that breath changes us in the way that our bodies mind and emotions function the thing is is that most of the time we wait until it's way out of control before we do something about it there's some very important reasons on a physical sense why breath and learning to direct your breath is really important yoga is getting really mainstream right now and has been for a while but one of the parts of yoga that is extremely important is the breath techniques and the breath practice which is known as pranayama in sanskrit prana means breath and it also means life force so when you are working with your breath and working with it in specific ways and directing it you are directing your life force what I see from a lot of people today is first of all, we're seeking happiness. We're seeking ways to feel positive, ways to feel better, ways to get more done in less time, ways to enjoy life more. Prana is one of the best ways to do that. I'm also noticing that there's still a lot of people that are experiencing stress, um, anxiety, and a whole lot of other you know, negative emotions, which are the opposite of what we want. When we have, we actually have multiple bodies. <laughs> we have our physical body, but in a yogic perspective, there's actually 10 bodies. There's a physical body. Uh, there's three different ones that just relate to the mind. And uh, I won't go into all of them right now, but what there's one that's really important. It is the pranic body. And your pranic body, when it gets weak, you have a number of things that manifest. So whether or not you believe you have a separate a pranic body, if you can relate to any of these symptoms, then you can probably understand the value in this, even if you're not ready to do something about it. So when the pranic body is weak, we are easily influenced by other people. We find that we are confused we find that um, we are easily influenced by other people. We find that we go into the negative mind very easily, that we are fearful very easily. We lose our physical vitality. We get sick a lot easier. When we strengthen the pranic body, it's actually an energy source. So a lot of time, and people don't realize this, that you take in oxygen, but there's also like life force that you bring in every time you breathe. Now we do get some of that through our food um, and through sunlight and through a lot of other things. So if we are pushing ourselves or not eating the best diet, where we're getting a lot of life force, prana becomes even more important and what can happen and what does happen for a lot of people is we start craving that life force and it's actually because we're not breathing to the extent that we need to and we're not getting the positive uplifting um, cleansing that the body also gives when it's breathing properly so people that um, have a really strong pranic body are very clear very clear about what they're doing, very direct about what they're doing, but not in a pushy way, not in a bullying way. You cannot get these people off their course. They will very calmly look at you and just like, yeah, no, that's not right. That's not working. This is what needs to be done. And they can do it for a very long time. They have humongous patience, um, but often they don't have to use it because they can get things done very quickly and very easily. They're very balanced in their positive and negative mind so that they can see um, the, if there's pitfalls in something, they're not blind to those, but overall they have a positive attitude of what's possible and where they're going. They are innovative because they can see the potential in situations which other people that are more fear-based can't see. And they experience very little fear. In fact, if your pranic body is really solid the way it should be, you do not experience fear no matter what's happening. So you can be facing a tough circumstance or not and you do not experience fear. 
there that is the one of the biggest strengths of the pranic body when you have a strong pranic body um, you have a trust and a faith in yourself and in life to bring you what you need to have a beautiful and incredible life whatever that means to you and you're not attached to any one way of things being done so if you have any questions on this i mean i could talk and talk and talk about the strength and the benefits of the pranic body both for leaders but also for overall mental emotional and physical health um, i'd love to share more on you I, I think it's one of the most important things that we're going to be working with over the next five years in terms of health and well-being so leave me your questions and i'll continue to answer them